Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Hey guys, and welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed. And last time, if you saw the last episode, we were kidnapping a fat man and interrogating him for his dinner. No, I'm, just, I'm joking, we're trying to get some information out of He was more look, look like Fat Man Scoop. Fat Man Scoop? No, I won't start singing, I promise. Okay, we're just trying to find out where we're going. Always good to know. If I remember rightly in this mission... Aren't we gonna interrogate another fat man? Yes. Fat man, sorry, I didn't say fat kid. Right, we're gonna do sequence four. We're almost to let the one the right one. It always cracks me up how games have advanced so much now. They could practically do a, a a scale model of London. Well yeah, whatever happened to the days of Mario? <laughs> When all they could program was birds, bricks, and mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds like a really weird recipe for dinner there. Yeah, I know. Okay, we're going to do sequence four, we're just setting a waypoint. For this recipe, you throw in the pan, birds, a couple of pigeons should do the trick, bricks, remember to crush them up or you'll, or you'll lose your teeth. And muffin. Okay, we're going to try and upgrade our skills. Yeah, that's basically it, guys. We do realise that we are quite low in terms of where we should be at the moment. We should be at least a level 4, I think. And we are now, currently, or we're level 3. Yeah, we're just doubling up our health. It's always good to have double health. It's always good to upgrade as well. Yeah, with the amount of scraps you get into, you need double health. It's always good to upgrade as well. I like to, I like upgrading stuff. Cars, phones. I I told you before, guys. She's a, she's under the illusion that she 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 hates things that seem obsolete, so she has to get the newest stuff. That may be true with clothes, but not with everything. Of course, like I said, if I had the money to upgrade those things, I would. And if, if I had I, money to do it all the time. And if I said not everything, I mean. She loves a bit of super dry. <laughs> That's clothes. You just said that. The clothing brand super dry. If any if any new super dry tops come out, you can bet she's at the store. No, that's trainers. Harassing the man and threatening. No, 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. I was gonna say something really nasty there, but no, I won't. <laughs> I just decided what else we can upgrade. Yeah, but the only thing we can upgrade isn't that pouch you or belt. Yeah. And there's not really much, well, point in doing that, because as we've realised, is regardless of whether you upgrade the belt, it upgrades the capacity. It doesn't mean you can put any weapons that are significant in those places. Mm. The only thing we've got now that we can use of any significance with this fellow is that I can get a gun. I say, uh-huh. I say not significant. If you pulled out a gun on somebody, you're like, oh, they'll go, ho, ho, ho. That little pea shooter, I'm not scared at all. Yeah, I know, they'd all be shitting their pants. Even if it was a 1930s gun, you'd still be shitting your pants. I mean, the person that shot you would, would end up on their ass themselves because of the, because of the recoil. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's like if someone shot you with, when we had those military guns that you have to put on the stand. Yeah. By the time someone fucking shot you with one of those, you could have fucking ran away, really. Just imagine that. If someone ever burgled your house, you'd have to sit on one of the garden fences and lean the gun on it. So you'd have to deal with the recoil. <laughs> I've got you! <laughs> <laughs> what are those guns called again? Uh, they're the old 1930s revolvers you're thinking of. Yeah. It always cracks me up the way they climb on Assassin's Creed. It's like, I can climb windows and jump about five feet if there's a gap. But I can't climb through holes in bricks. They climb like they're idiots. What's the difference between windows 
And there's nothing to hold on with the window. Where's she holding on to? She's called free running across the race. I said roosts, by the way, guys. It did sound like I said roosts. <laughs> Free running across roosts. Now oh, they're picking my eyes. <laughs> okay, I'm lost. Oh, uh, you'll find your way soon, or eventually. Well, I know I'm going now. Lost my marker for a second. Fuck no! Talk about talk about all my shit. My pants got almost fell off the building. You say that, you just have a controlled fall. <laughs> or falling with style. And yes, if you remember, that's a reference to the Toy Story. Thought I'd take a carriage, throw you up, get out, bitch. Sorry, guys, if you have seen any of the previous videos, you would know that we like running everywhere, but I think for this mission it would be more sensible to take a horse and carriage. Yeah. Since the distance where we'd have to go would take us another four or five minutes to get there. However, it's funny how they've got old London so accurately mapped out. With the, I mean, with the horse and carriage and stuff. I think you do. It's not, it's not really that hard. I mean, if you can, if you can um, program uh, buildings and streets, I'm pretty sure a carriage is pretty much the same thing. It's just only the wheels that really have to move. The horses, would, the horses would be a bit more, um, let's say, complicated because you'd have to work out the way the horses would react and put it and program it accordingly. That's what I meant. I meant the horses. But Come to, on, giddy up! Yeah, but to be fair, it would be the same. So rub the stuff and do shout and giddy up into the mic. It, it would be the same Ooh, thing. Pro programming anything that moves, it would be the same thing. And I've just made the horses shit themselves by dropping a um, smoke bomb. Oh, that's nice. What were you trying to do? Get a bit of shit on the guy's shoes that was standing next <laughs> to the carriages? Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, and you wouldn't. Guys wouldn't have seen this, but we played on so that so we were aware we were meant to be. Yeah. Because we planned to be about nearly halfway through the game at this point. We played on and we met Charles Darwin. That one there in the hat is meant to be Charles Darwin, if I remember. Because as far as I remember, he's the same person that helped us in the previous mission when we went into one of the factories. Like I said, because we played on, you guys wouldn't have seen that, but you'll see every mission from, from now on. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have a nice old chase after after horse and carriage in a minute, I think. Yep, here we go. <laughs> why, I'm why I'm choosing to run on foot, I have no idea. I'll get into that carriage. Hurry up! I, you got into the carriage, I meant go on to where the horse was, you know? <laughs> Good God, why did I jump back out? I'm guessing you're trying to run off that carriage, but... Alright. A man running on foot versus a carriage. I wasn't being very smart, was I? You still managed to catch up with it though, didn't you? Look at that. You still... What carriage are you actually looking for, I swear? I don't know anymore. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I have not... I think... Have you just given up and tried to get him on foot? I think I'm trying to chase him on foot. Sorry, guys. Well, you think you are trying to chase him off. Yeah. You know what I meant. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm, I'm just really laughing. It's alright. I will tell you, I'll catch him on foot, but I'll have very bloody feet. Well, I'll take him with the skin off of him. And you wouldn't have wanted to do that in 19th century London. Ah, uh, you've just, you've just damaged yourself with a smoke bomb now, what the hell? Oh, sorry, I went to say 18th century London, 19th century would have been in the 19th. No, 19th century. The way it works, you know, that's in the 1800s. The 1800s was the 19th century. That's what I meant to say, I did say it right the first time. Yes, you did. Yeah, you don't want to be having bloody feet in 19th century London, or injuring yourself at all. Probably under all kinds of illnesses. 
No, not much from the cobblestones. It's more from the piss and shit people would have thrown out the window. I only bought houses though, because by the 1920s, I think it was the 1820s, I think rich people would have had toilets. Yes. But what I'm trying to explain to you is you're right as we're running over cobblestones. Okay. I've just got myself into a sticky situation, I think. Have you already recruited that guy that's in the front with us? <laughs> yeah. I'll take it, otherwise he wouldn't have let you use his carriage, wouldn't you? Why are you only allowed to recruit people that look exactly the same as the people you already recruited? Look, they've all, they're all wearing, like, green berets on their heads. Is that, is that green? Mm-hmm. Or is it grey? Grey. Yeah. I can't tell because his head's so small. Oh, I see. So, it lets you get out while the horse is still going, which means you must have to, um... Jump on to the next carriage. Yeah, I assume so. Or when you catch up to it, anyway. That is if we actually get there. <laughs> Tora, Tora, underlay, underlay. Faster, faster, faster! I go the English way. He goes the old. He goes the old English way. Well, Tora, that's more Mexican. For Tora, Tora, underlay. Yeah, so here goes the Mexican route, I go the old English route. Come on, you fucking bastard. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have used the word bastard for a horse that night. Because they, they were very literal back then. They, they didn't really have much of a sense of humour. If they did, it was extremely sarcastic. Okay. I'm feeling tasty more feet, I think, 19th century, if I remember, was supposed to be the beginning of, or well, late 19th century, was supposed to be the beginning, the beginning of the middle classes. Because that's when trains were widely introduced. People found it easier to travel, which meant the economy improved, because they could also um, export or, or at least transfer things like cargo and things like. Um, products that we wanted to ship from place to place. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you an economic lesson, I just remembered something that I saw on a on on a, on a program I was recently watching. E- economics one oh one. With Lee Elliott. No, that is what it was and it's also the first um machine or the first mode of transport that actually broke the class system down because for once, you were able to see middle class and upper class on the same train. They were in separate. Tune in next week for our geography and history lessons. Alright, then I won't tell you any interesting facts. I'll go, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Mrs. Not you guys, you guys are alright. I know you enjoy my facts. Say that and half of them are asleep already. Fucking hell, I, well, that backfired me. I just done a, I just done a um, army roll out of a truck. Oh, it's a horse and carriage. How can a horse and carriage look like a truck? It's the same thing. Oh, look, now we're on the back of it. <laughs> What's with the sporadic driving? You're driving from left to right even when the road goes straight. Because I'm not controlling it, it's a horse. No, you, but you're controlling the horse, which is controlling the carriage. <laughs> All I'm doing is pressing boost. Fucking hell. Now you've lost it again. No, wait, wait, wait. She's found it. Or found something. I found another one. I don't think it's the same carriage. I really do think you have to get on the carriage you're chasing. I don't think the, the point is to um, smash it up. Because they think if that was true, it wouldn't let you stand up while the carriage was still moving. Yeah. Okay, I've just fucking done a swan dive off the top. This isn't going very well for me, sorry guys. <laughs> now if I find something else, hopefully with this attempt, which is about the fourth attempt of getting onto the guy's carriage, it actually go well. 
Mm-hmm. You don't want me on any guy's couch. Or horse. Well, except for my carriage. Which I'm using as a euphemism, clearly. Bloody hell. How long has it taken us to catch one guy in a, with a horse and carriage? It's taken us quite a while. 15 minutes to be exact. I imagine that. Imagine how boring a horse and carriage chase on film would actually be. They're probably going to be asleep by the end of this. Nah, we can get him. We can get him. Cool, you can drive the carriage with no hands. Well, I don't think it's necessary that I think that the horse is just going straight while you're obviously. Uh, wait, 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 we're on the. No. Oh, I fell off. No, we're not on. We're not on. <laughs> Come on, we can do it. We can do this. He says with a, with a veiled attempt of optimism. <laughs> well, I'll give you a veiled attempt of optimism. Uh, uh, I still find it funny how there are massive white lines on the road. Like, they wouldn't know, you wouldn't know where to go. You That's good. Yeah, but you can see the map there. You can see where the target is. You can see where you are. What else would you need? Nowhere to go. I know what they they're thinking about. They're thinking about the people that can't really be bothered to read the map, so they give them a a mark. No, they're thinking of twats like me and you that would not know where to go. Yeah, but you can. I understand. You know, the person that you've got to get is not in plain sight. Yeah, mm. but. You can see they've given you a massive marker as to where the carriage is anyway. You know, in the first place. Yeah. Look. I'm going to go again. Just get out of this little kerfuffle. Uh, I mean, I've taken your words now. Fucking hell. You stole my words from last week. What should my what should my buzzword for this week be? Buzz, your buzzword? Mm-hmm. I think it should be... Jesus! I'm just... <laughs> Oh, I'm outrageous! Well, that's outrageous! Yeah, that'd be a good one. <laughs> Alright, we'll try and get that trending, guys. But you gotta say it with a slightly higher pitched voice at the end. That's outrageous! If I do that, they'll have no ears left. No, I don't mean I don't mean you. I mean people in general. You've got a high enough pitch voice as it is. We're nearly there. We're there. We're there. We're there. Get off. Get get off, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Bye, motherfucker. Now what we got to do? We got to scare him. I'll take it. Yeah. So basically, crash into everything. <laughs> Crash into everything with that. We've lost the carriage with no one on it. Move, mm, bitch. Get out the way, bitch. Sorry, I've started singing Ludacris. Down the mic. You mean move, bitch. Get out the way. Yeah. Although I have to admit that there's a reason Ludacris started with films. <laughs> I think he realised that there were too many rappers going through and it would, it would be hard to compete, as it were. I quite like him in Fast and Furious. I quite like all of the men in Fast and Furious, really. Yeah, and that did not come out as, 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 as right as it did in my head. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> no, but remember, Ludacris was also young enough to do Fast and Furious. He wasn't about 40 years old when he first started. So I still trying to destroy the carriage. This definitely isn't Fast and Furious. This is called the Young and the Reckless. 
That's actually quite good there, babe. I think you should get that <laughs> trending when young and the reckless. So what have we got to get trending? Oh, Ow. that's outrageous. Look, and yeah. the young and the yeah. reckless. Use that, use that as a hashtag on Twitter, who's ever watching this video. If you like anything, you've just got to put that outrageous at the end of it. <laughs> What are you having a carriage war? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had the road wars. We've got carriage wars. No, I know you. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to scare him. But damn, so far you've just driven straight. You do realise the idea of driving. Well, I've got to become anonymous. Okay, that I don't clearly seem to understand the idea of that since I've now just driven into a carriage. You, sorry, I'm looking now. We've destroyed half the carriage. No, we've we've redecorated the carriage room. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Not, not the fact that one of the wheels out of the four is now hanging off. <laughs> okay, and I think he's just broken this vinyl cord. We've ru- we ruined our character. I think he's paradised. Oh, well, try again. Hopefully we'll start back on the character we're meant to be on, not chasing it in the first place. Well, no, that crash didn't seem that bad. He was over-exaggerating. Over-exaggerating? He threw 30 feet in the <laughs> air. Sorry, he flew 30 feet in the air. Or he got thrown 30 feet in the air. Yeah, I, me- I meant to say he flew and then it went between thrown and flew. So That's it was right. a flew. I, I, I used the word rooster, I think. Instead of root. Yeah. When you were trying to describe a, a word concrete object and you described an animal. Oh well, another go. How many attempts are this? We had four attempts at getting onto the carriage. This is the second attempt, attempt at trying to intimidate somebody. Let's see how well this goes. Oh yeah, the other horse doesn't seem to like it very much. <laughs> Although, what do I expect? You're whipping literally every second. I thought I'd copy the whip in the name I'm just not doing the name part. No, the horse is doing the name <laughs> You're just doing the whip. Yes, guys, that was a very prophetic joke. We understand. Call me a whip. Watch me, Nana. Watch me whip, me, watch me this. <laughs> that's, that's an alright song, it's just I find the chorus a bit irritating, that's all. But it seems like you're trying to avoid stuff, not trying to hit it. You do realise the idea is, oh, there we are. We crashed into a building. Can I just ran the woman over? I'm hoping that she likes she likes being on the floor because she could be there for a while, especially in nineteenth century London. They wouldn't have known how to set a bone back right. <laughs> I think she has any. She has, but they're all in bits. Oh. You might just hook up down the mic. I'm sorry. I don't worry. I think. We got a new mic. I think this one's uh, not sensitive enough. Well, actually, very sensitive. It doesn't actually pick up any background noise, but it always manages to pick us up very well. <laughs> Best mission for the almost complete after we finish shutting to this nice guy. I think it is complete because wasn't isn't he telling us? There, right. it, there it is. There it is. Bye, there guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and make life fun. Yeah, remember to make life fun, guys. See you there. See ya, bye. See ya, bye. Huh? And now we seem to be a f- female thief from what I can tell. Yeah. Trying to loot a train. Yeah.